Hey everyone, welcome back once again to my YouTube class. Guys, I'm Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. This is another session of Office 365 MS 101. And in this class, I'm going to guide you about how we can manage the migration services. As you know that migration is really important for us. It means we should know about the procedure and types of migration services that are available on our Office 365 portal. So I'll try to give you the complete information like about the theoretical part types of migration, procedure to migrate, migrate the services or mailboxes from one location to another location. So these all are the agenda that we need to cover in this class. So let's move ourselves to portal and discuss about the procedure. But before that, if you are new on my YouTube channel, if you're watching my video first time, so please do subscribe your own Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel, right? So let's move ourselves. This is our Office 365 panel and uh, you know that Microsoft Admin Center Click on so all and uh, it will redirect you on multiple options like as uh, admin center. So in admin center, we are able to find exchange. Whenever we click on the exchange admin center, it will give us option to manage the services by using two different way. One is classic and uh, another is the latest exchange admin center. So this is our latest exchange admin center. But if you want to switch with classic, just just need to click here, right? So, but I'm going to guide you about means how we can manage the services of migration with the help of uh, latest exchange admin center of Office 365, right? So in previous class, we discussed about the roles and mail flow, right? We have already discussed, but uh, we will try to uh, cover the remaining topics at, as well. But as per the requirement, as per the organization requirement or market requirement, it's our responsibility. We should know about the migration. So that's why I'm just going to click here. This is the migration panel, right? Just need to click on the migration. It will redirect you on another page. As we discussed, this is the latest port portal. We are not using classic. That's why we are able to uh, get a wizard like this. Just need to click on add migration batch, right? So you just need to type the migration batch like as uh, I'm going to type with teach me cloud. This is the name of my migration batch and see select the mailbox migration path. Uh, guys, as we know that the migration that we can perform in various way, like the n number of migration services are available in cloud technology, like we are able to migrate our data from on premises to cloud. We are able to migrate our web server application servers and uh, uh, our virtual machines as well. But in case of Office 365, our responsibility to migrate the mailboxes. The meaning of mailboxes, you know that whenever we log in our user using Outlook or whenever we connect our mail user with our on-premises Outlook, I'm talking about the offline Outlook, the option that you are able to find like inbox, outbox, sent item, draft, these all are the services which are part of mailbox, right? So select the mailbox migration path. We have a two different options like one is uh, migration uh, to exchange online, migration from exchange online, right? As per the name suggests, like if you establish your uh, mailboxes, right, like means uh, your current mailbox location uh, is on-premises or Google or any other uh, 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 portal that you are using to manage your my, uh, mailboxes. So you can proceed with this option. Migration to exchange, right? If you want to migrate the services from on-premises to online exchange or Office 365, you will need to proceed with this option. Migration from exchange online, it means that you don't want to continue with Office 365 services. You want to migrate the entire mailboxes that you created over a portal. You wanted to migrate to on-premises and you want to utilize the mailboxes with the help of uh, uh, physical hardware that you established. But Nowadays, 90% organizations are trying to migrate our services to exchange online. So that's why I'm going to proceed with this option. And now it will give you the option types of migration, which is really important for us. We should know about how many types of migration are available, right? So you just need to dra dra drop down and we are able to find remote move migration, staged migration, cutover migration, cross tenant migration, Google Workspace migration and IMAP migration. So let me explain you about each and every point. As per the name suggests, the first one is remote move migration. As per the name suggests, the meaning of remote move migration means you wanted to migrate your mailboxes 
from on premises server that you establish with the exchange server 2016 2017 or 2013 or 2010 you establish your entire mail services by mm -hmm. using on premises hardware and you wanted to now you wanted to migrate your uh, mailboxes to exchange online means office 365 that time you must need to select the option of remote move migration see right mailboxes from an on premises exchange to exchange online this is exchange online that we are using if you establish your server exchange server 2010 or later version on on premises like uh, uh, if you set up a uh, exchange server 2016 on your on premises machine and now you are planning to shift entire mailboxes from on premises to uh, uh, office 365 portal then remote move migration can help you correct Number second, uh, staged migration. So, uh, staged migration is also a type of on premises migration. This migration supported by Exchange Server 2003 and Exchange Server 2007 only. Guys, just wanted to clear because most of uh, interviewers ask you a question like uh, the difference between remote move migration and staged migration. So you can describe about like stage migration, you can say that it's a kind of legacy migration that support only exchange server 2003 and 2007 means if you set up your mailing services on on premises using exchange server 2003 and 2007, then stage migration can help you, correct? But if you are using latest version of Exchange Server, like after 2010 and you wanted to migrate the services, so that time the remote move migration can help you. Let me try to describe with the help of diagram because it's really important for us. We must need to know about the uh, actual agenda of our migration services. So we are trying to understand about the migration exchange migration right I'll, I'll i'll definitely try to give you the proper practical because uh, uh, you must need to know about the procedure and prerequisites to set up a migration the first migration right the first migration type is remote move migration so let me guide you about the meaning of remote move migration okay So, not much difference between remote move and staged migration. This is our Office 365. You purchase any license like F3, F5 or any license that you have. O365 portal, right? This is cloud or SAS service. You establish your own exchange server like uh, this is our on-premises exchange server. You establish for mailing services. The remote move migration can help us to migrate the mailboxes from on-premises to Office 365 portal or online exchange. But condition, note, your exchange server should be later than 2010, means, uh, means 2010 exchange our latest version you can say that right and if you set up a n number of mailboxes like you created up to uh, 50 mailboxes on on premises and you wanted to transfer you wanted to migrate to office 365 portal then remote move migration can help us you can migrate the entire mailboxes to office 365 portal clear so you must need to select with this particular option as it is, if we talk about the staged migration, right? The meaning of staged migration, you can say that it's a legacy or old version of migration services. If you set up your uh, exchange by using the old version of exchange server, like uh, we set up our on-premises server using 2K3 or 2K7, right? 2003 or 2007 exchange server you establish on on-premises on you wanted to migrate the mailboxes from uh, old version of exchange server that time staged migration can help us is that clear let's talk more about it like cutover migration right so cutover migration stays through uh, staged migration remote move migration these all are performing the same task 
means migrating the mailboxes from on premises to office 365 portal but it is applicable only for the old version of uh, exchange server like you establish your mic uh, establish your on premises exchange over a server 2003 then it can work is that clear now okay so cut over remote move migration staged migration and uh, last one is cut over migration so i hope you understand about the meaning of these three different option let's talk about cross tenant migration so let me help you to understand about what is meaning of cross tenant migration so for this particular migration i'm just going to open the um, uh, azure active directory okay because I'll, i i'm going to show you the tenant how uh, what is tenant basically the meaning of tenant the meaning of tenant like uh, we log in our office 365 portal with the help of one uh, account you can say that with the help of one mail id so it's mandatory to configure one mail id to sign up yourself over a office 365 portal and this is the tenant id whenever we open our azure active directory using office 365 portal it will give us a one active directory, one tenant id we have option to create multiple tenant id using single subscription using single account but as per the name suggests the meaning of uh, cross tenant migration means cloud to cloud migration is basically for example this is our office 365 portal this is another office 365 portal correct the office 365 portal you log in through the abc at on microsoft.com okay and another uh, another uh, portal that you log in through xyz at uh, uh, on microsoft.com you wanted to migrate the mailboxes from one portal yes one portal to another portal the meaning of one tenant to another tenant means you wanted to migrate the mailboxes from one tenant to another tenant because whenever we sign up ourselves over a office 365 portal and purchase one license microsoft will assign you one tenant id right so cross tenant id in the sense the cross tenant migration in the sense you want to migrate the mailboxes from one portal office 365 portal to another portal this is the uh, basically work google workspace migration so you know very well about like google offer us to set up our mailing services with the help of google workspace i think it is a updated version of g suite you can say that right if you set up your mail services with the help of you have, if you have already set up your mail services with the help of google workspace and you are planning to migrate the mailboxes you wanted to you, you wanted to shift the entire mailboxes from google workspace to office 365 portal that time you can proceed with this option so what i am going to do i'll try to give you one one example of each and every migration services because for this particular task i need to set up my own uh, um, lab for the migration services like as a uh, in case of remote move migration i need to install exchange server on my base machine then i am able to do that right so for cut over for uh, stage so for these three different migration services i need to uh, perform the i need to migrate i need to set up on offline exchange but for cross tenant migration you know that for cross tenant migration i am able to do that because uh, we have option to create a n number of free trial account without using credit and debit card so i'll definitely create another office 365 portal a uh, license and try to migrate the services from one tenant to another tenant try to migrate the mailboxes from one tenant to another tenant google workspace you know very well about and last one is imap imap is the basically related to the based on the protocol migration so if you set up your mailing services over office 365 using imap protocol and you wanted to um, perform the task of migration so that time this particular option can help you clear so let me show you the what are the prerequisite because this is the migration type like if you want to migrate the uh, 
um, mailboxes from one tenant to another session tenant just need to click here the one of important uh, are uh, means you can say that important features of latest uh, exchange admin center it will give you the complete prerequisites right so these all are the prerequisites source and target tenant mailbox and user object has been properly configured means you should configure your entire mailboxes with the entire prerequisites like as the licenses and all a cross tenant organization relationship and cross tenant migration endpoint have been configured in both source and tenant correct the cross tenant organization relationship and cross tenant means you must need to know about where you want to migrate the mailboxes is in in the batch have been included in the mailboxes that can be migrated scope in source tenant and you have a permission to migrate mailbox that's really important your mailbox should be permitted if you want to migrate right second important point select end point so before that before making any migration activity what you need to do you must need to select the migration you need to create a your own migration endpoint so it's also based on the types of license that you are using right the migration services is also based on the migration types of license that you are using so i'm going to check my eligibility because i'm using a free trial account so i'm going to check the eligibility of my migration services and after that uh, i'll proceed for that okay so just need to select user configure schedule you can perform the task guys this is all about the concept of uh, how many migration services are available uh, to exchange let me check five to six different migration types are available yes six different migration services are available remote move migration staged migration cutover migration cross tenant migration google workspace migration and last one is imap migration so i hope you know understand about so we have a this is the first class of migration services so definitely you can prepare yourself definitely i'll give you the proper practical how to migrate the services mailboxes from on premises to cloud i'm i'm going to right now i'm going to install a exchange server on on premises that i can show you proper practical that's it guys thank you so much take care bye bye we'll connect soon with another session of migration and do subscribe your on teach me cloud youtube channel take care guys